So think about poop, for instance. Okay. So if you, feces. Yeah. All right, Correct feces, manure, whatever you want to call it. You can fluff it up. You can church it up as much as you want. At the end of the day, if you really think about it, all poop is, or manure, or feces, all it is is fresh dirt, and all dirt is is old poop. Words of wisdom. Plus some other things sometimes. It's not just straight poop. Well, it's still starting to poop. It's broken down matter. It's still fresh poop. Hey everyone. So today we are going to vaccinate some sheep. Um, others won't need it. But several are going to get checked, well all of them are going to get checked and several are probably going to need some sort of dewormer because we let them out on the grass and the grass is short. Uh, we do try to avoid it but right now we don't have a whole lot of choices because it is what it is. They're going to chase the grass that's here in the barnyard or if we don't let them out and then if we do let them out they're going to eat the other grass that's short. So at this point we just let them go and then not only that but they all need to come through and get checked anyways because some of them are going to need some hoofs trimmed up and others aren't going to need anything at all. So, come on. You're probably wondering why we have all of them in the corral and in the chute. Do they have COVID? Stay tuned to find out. So, there's a couple of things that we look for. So we check their gums, see how pink they are. If they're good and pink, it's a pretty good indication that they don't have a heavy worm load. Doesn't mean they don't have worms, just a good indication that they likely do not. They're a little bit, they're not as pink as we'd like, so they'll end up getting a little bit of dewormer. And then you can also check their eyes, check above or below. It's a lot easier to check above usually, but his eyes are, <laughs> must be buggy. And then we'll check their hooves so that he needs a little bit, just a little bit trimmed off, nothing big. He'll be good to go. So this is Nibbles. The one that pulled. She did pull Cheyenne shorts down last year. She was a lamb then. Chugger was and PJ 
We have a few of them. And then the other thing we check, not their nose being pink, but their gums. So like her gums are pink, but they also have a little bit of white to them. So she's gonna get deep warmer because she probably has a heavy parasite load. It's springtime and they like to uh It's springtime and they like to eat the grass and if the grass is real short from you know starting to grow in the spring they'll have a lot of parasites in it still especially if it's warm around. She's one twelve Cheyenne. Can you write that down? I got it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I have the pin. One twelve right here. One twelve. And then the kids are writing down numbers <laughs> and what we've done. So if we dewormed them or if we had to do anything special. So hoof trims we don't really pay attention to because it's going to happen. There's not a lot to wear their hoofs down in the pasture. gums. Right. I don't know if it's going to give you the real color that they are. You see her teeth are pretty white. Her gums, they're pink, but they have a little bit of white to them. They should be a little pinker than that. And then if you look at her bottom gums, like that, you can see they're very, they're quite a bit whiter. So, needs to brush her teeth. She's got stuff in her nose too. Most of the stuff in her nose is actually green because they like to stick their nose all the way in the trough. And then this right here, she has something going on with her eye. It looks like pink eye most likely, so we're just going to spray it and be done with it. As you can see, there's a lot of different things we have to check for them. Every animal is a little different. Some animals, we've never had to trim their hooves at all, and they've been here for three years now. Others, we have to trim them sometimes twice a year, so it just depends. Each one's gonna grow a little different, but for the most part, they should all be the same. It could be another thing, but she is usually much more of a fighter than this, so I'm really surprised. Her and then the other one that was a fighter was Pitbull. And we got rid of her because she has not produced any babies and she's been here for two years. So. You can breathe now. Her nose stuffed up? No, she's got green. No. She just sticks her whole face in it. Right, 
better now. Okay. Go ahead and spray her up. Yeah, hold it open. <laughs> it <laughs> says to put it on stream. It does? It does. Three times. That's why I said you're gonna have to hold it open. Yay. Oh, miss. miss. <laughs> I forgot to grab a cloth to wipe it off, but it's okay. Gage, where are my cookies? You want me to eat my cookies after I just stuck my hands inside of her nostrils? <laughs> anyway, some things are a little more gross than others. So if you look, everybody actually lined up in here on their own. We didn't block that off down there. They blocked themselves off. But it, it's actually worked out quite a bit better than what we thought it was going to at first. And some of it is that they haven't been through this before. So this is a new system for them. Before we used to push them all into that barn and we closed the uh, doors on both ends and we corral them down. And it wasn't terrible, but it was a lot more effort. But, as you can see, like I said, they, they all got themselves in there. And then once they got in there, they just kind of stand there and wait their turn. Nobody's really crowded until we push them up here. And then we just put a uh, barrel in the middle. So, not bad. We're pretty happy with it. Real quick, I guess we could show you. So these are all the things that we need and then we keep this notepad over here and we write down what ewes they're getting what. And then if we have lambs, if they're not tagged, we'll tag them. And then their sex, whatever they are. Um, we bring tags out, obviously, the hoof trimmers, the tag tool. This is for uh, injectable. So if we had one that was just really uh, looking bad, we would actually give that one B12, which is a vitamin complex. And then we also use this to administer Dectamax. Dectamax is for like a one that's just in really bad shape. And we wanna make sure that we give it as much uh, possibility as possible to get rid of those worms. And then um, this is pink eye spray. We keep it out here too. And then this is the safeguard warmer that we use. Now we rotate warmers. We use this one, uh, like I mentioned before, Dectamax for heavy loads. Um, oh, what's the one that we mix in the water? I can't remember. Uh, the bounce back? No, 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 the dewormer. Uh, oh, well, that's a new oh, one. What's it called? Um, Shoot. It's, uh, it'll come to us. But Safeguard, um, Valbazin, um, like I said, Dectamax for really heavy worm loads, and, uh, oh, I can't think of what it's called. Comment down below if you remember what it's called. I'll remember by the time I post this, but at least then we'll all be on the same page. But yeah, those are all the ones, sorry, you probably can't see because of the sunlight. Those are all the ones that we kind of keep out. Um, eventually we'll make some sort of a table set up. We're not using the head chute because most of our uh, ewes are, their necks are really skinny and they can actually get back right, right back out of it. I got to modify it to make it where it close smaller. But um, they're actually about to push some more up here.
a um, the chair form and stuff. We're starting off and just in time we'll buy it. So right now we have money that we need to put towards the barn to better protect them during the winter. If you like our video, press the like button. And you can even share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, comment down below. And if you like the channel, subscribe to the channel. Finally!